Hello everyone, I'm back with round four of the Clash of Champions. I'm facing Smurf account. Uh, his Discord name is Marcus Lol. I know he's a pretty good player. He doesn't enter many tournaments. He has won a GFC though, and he plays a bunch of ladder. As you can see, he has 1,230 rating, and he's had other accounts where he played a bunch of ladder, and I've watched a bunch of his games, and he's pretty good. Uh, he's playing Chaos Turbo in this event with, uh, I know he's on Dark Magician to Chaos, Premature, and Card Destruction. Let's just get right into it. To go first. Alright. Dashi being the sixth card really makes this hand way better than it would have been. Uh, play's pretty standard here. It's just spy with dust shoot. Uh, some people may say you might want to set night assailant but this is not the spot for it. You want to keep this Knight Ascendant in hand. It will make Duo have a 50% chance of only going one for one. Uh, plus the Spy just allows you to put 2400 pressure next turn. Um, what else? There's the Dust Shoot, so I'm not worried about like trying to destroy a flip with Night Assailant. Yeah, it's very standard spy dust shoot here. And use dust shoot. Let's see what he's got. So he's got an all monster hand. Looking at the hand, it's it's just got to be spy because I can't answer spy, and if I allow spy to stall, um, this game will just drag out, and he will be able to convert this hand into good cards, especially if he draws like charity. And I don't have much going for me either, so it's not like I can... I, I'm trying to end the game quickly here. And if he does try and uh, bring the Sorcerer down by wit, by like a Thunder Dragon, maybe Set Night Ascent or something, I do have Snatch for that. He does have Tsukiyomi to put it face down. But I have Night Assailant for that. So yeah, pretty clear Spy. And he goes Thunder Dragon. And he makes a mistake here. He just ends turn. Which I don't like. I think he should set Tsukiyomi to defend from Spies. And even if I did maybe summon like a Tribe or a Breaker to destroy it, he would at least get the light and dark and stop 4,000 damage. So I can attack for 24, uh, set Night Assailant with Regeki Break, looks pretty clear to me. It might not be that clear. If you don't know. Basically, I'm trying to clear the way for the spies to get through. Because next turn, he's basically going to have to set Tsukiyomi. So, Night Assailant will get through that. Uh, Regeki Break deals with other stuff. He sets a monster, and I have game, if you can see it. It's 
just Knight Assailant to flip, Rikeki Break to scar the Magician of Faith, target own Knight Assailant, giving me Light Dark, Summon Chaos Sorcerer, that is 4700, plus the Koichi is 61. And that's just an example of how crazy Dust Shoot can be sometimes. There was no dust sheet there. I wouldn't be able to take the spy out of his hand or like be so confident with my plays, I guess. So he starts this one with duo, which hits faith. Um, so this is not an obvious decision on what to discard here. Um, if you're not thinking about what you can possibly draw, then Regeki Break looks like the obvious discard. But if you consider that you can draw you draw a card next turn and you, then you draw another card with upstart. So you're seeing two new cards, and my deck has three Thunder Dragons, two Night Assailants, and Sinister Serpent. And if I draw any of those, I'm really going to wish I had Regeki Break. Uh, another thing to note is if I keep both monsters in hand, I would allow him to potentially get off a second, du a second strong duo because I won't be able to set my hand. So it's another reason for why I make my decision for how I do it. Um, so basically I'm not discarding Upstart and I'm not discarding Regeki Break for the reasons I listed. So it's going to be between Faith and Spy. Now Spy obviously looks much stronger than Faith because Spy can maybe stall out the game a little bit. Um, yeah, it, basically if Spy resolves, that's really, really good for me, whereas Faith would just be getting upstart, but when I discard Spy, I do have two draws to make, um, and if one of those are Chaos Sorcerer or BLS, they're live immediately. Also, I have two spies still in the deck, so if I draw one of those, I would really wish that I discarded spy here. So all of those reasons is why I chose spy as the discard here. He goes Thunder Dragon. And please upstart. And sets one backer, so it's not a strong start from him. So he has no, he has no flip. And I draw graceful, great card. I activate upstart and draw MST. Okay. So had I seen these two draws, I obviously would wish that I have kept spy instead of faith. Because now I, if faith is faith is really awkward, because when he keeps a bunch of cards in his hand like this and has no flip summon available, the chances of him having knock or mind control goes way up. So I'm not really interested in going like charity and set faith here, because that's just gonna lose the game a lot. So I'm going to want to make, just do something like set MST and keep all these three in the hand for now at least. Yep. Uh, so he sets a monster and a back row. It's very likely that he just drew whatever monster it was he just said. 
Um, so what can the new back row be that he hadn't set last turn? It could be like a Regeki Break or Wing Blast that he didn't feel like setting turn one. Either way, I'm definitely going to use MST on it. And it was Regeki Break. I draw another Regeki Break. Um, so at this point, since he set a monster and has Duo Engrave, I have to make a play. So I have to activate Charity. Which gives me Mind Control, Upstart, and Dust Shoot. Uh, those are pretty good cards. At this point, I think I want to just get rid of the Regeki Breaks. Yeah, I could Upstart into Thunder Dragon. But what? think about what else am I really discarding. I'm not... I want to keep Faith because Faith Charity is amazing. Uh, I want to keep Mind Control because I plan on using that on his monster. And I obviously want to keep Dust Shoot because... Well, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. I would like to see the hand... See if it's safe for the Faith, basically. At this point, I'm not sure yet if I am setting Faith this turn or not. I'm going to base it off what happens with Mind Control and Upstart. But I definitely don't want to just discard Faith. I still think I have plans for it. Uh, use Upstart. Which gives me Night Assailant. So, Riyaki Break would have been good with that. I control a Dekoichi, which gives me Sangan. Sangan's actually perfect here. Because I still don't want to set Faith. I obviously don't want to set Night Assailant. Sangan is just the perfect set. Because it. I don't care about mind control. If he knocks, that's fine. I will be setting Faith the turn after. So yeah, saying in Dust Shoot. He draws, and I will Dust Shoot. And he has Sukiyomi, Spy, Two Thunder Dragons, and Premature. So he didn't actually have any of the knock stuff. He just had uh, dead cards like Premature and Sukiyomi. Decision here is pretty obvious. It's just Tsukiyomi. Can't let him uh, start flipping that deco up. And we see that he can't answer Magician Faith. Which is very big. He goes for Jar into Jar... In, he goes for Jar into Graceful, though. Which is quite unfortunate, right after I... Dust shoot at him and saw a hand that couldn't answer Faith. Uh, and he finds two Night Assailants off of it. So that's actually, like, good for me. Because now I know that two of his three draws off Charity were not Knock or Mind Control. And he just attacks. So let's see here. I know the hand is Night Assailant, Night Assailant, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, Premature, Spy. Obviously what I'm worried about here is that he'll just set Night Assailant to destroy my faith next turn. So my choices with Sangan are uh, Serpent. Serpent would be able to be set and bait the Night Assailant. And the other option is the Second Faith. Which I would basically just set and um, 
Oh no, I don't have the second faith. That was discarded from Duo. Uh, so the only options, I guess, are Spy, Serpent... Yeah, it looks pretty obvious that the search is Serpent, because that is the one that plays around his Night Assailants. He sets a monster, and I draw, like, the perfect card here, because now I can Nobleman and not be scared of a set Night Assailant. And if you notice, uh, me searching Serpent got him to set Spy over Night Assailant. Got him not scared of the second faith. And yes, uh, faith set here is obvious. He attacks it and I get charity. He sets a monster and a back row. I draw Thunder Dragon. It's good, but obviously it wasn't necessary. I already had the discard fodder for the charity. Uh, discard Knight, Assailant, Serpent, Take, Faith. Okay, now what? Uh, it's gotta be Breaker. Because I do expect this set monster to now be Magician of Fate. Uh, not Magician of Fate though. I expect it to be Knight, Assailant. So if I just set a monster... He gets to just flip and then tribute for Thunder Dragon and hit me for 3,000. So I want to take some of this damage off the board by summoning Breaker here. I destroy the back row. Unfortunately, it's Jar of Greed. And I just attack Dekoichi to take 1,400 off the board and set Jar. So what do I still know from his hand? He has, well, let's wait till he flips this Knight Assailant. Okay, he flips the Knight Assailant, and so I know he still has one Knight Assailant, two Thunder Dragons, premature. So he flips, kills Breaker, and just attacks for 200, and I'm like perfectly fine with that. He sets a monster and another back row. And I draw another Dekoichi. Uh, I take Serpent. I will activate Jar. And draw a Night Assailant. So I'm not drawing very well here. And neither has he. He also had Charity and he didn't draw too well off it. Uh, so what do I expect the set monster to be? Well, first off, I lose to Faith, no matter what. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, my only play will just be Dekoichi attacking tonight Assailant. I could maybe set Faith. But it's definitely possible that he set his second Night Assailant. It, it's not likely that he did that but it's definitely possible and I think I still want to just get a little aggressive Uh, he just passed his turn. If you actually look, his set is Serpent. Him not tributing that for Thunder Dragon is just kind of insane to me. I don't really know what he's playing around. Like, he's playing around some kind of crazy BLS OTK. Yeah, he definitely needs to tribute that for Thunder Dragon. Otherwise, I don't really know what he's doing. Um, it's 
It's going to be between... I could just attack. Yeah, I think the best play is just to attack. And then set either Faith or Takoichi. But I think I summoned Suki over here for some reason. Which just plays into Ring and Discard Traps. Yeah, I don't like Suki at all. Yeah, like, if I think this set is Night Assailant, I just attack and it destroys Deco and I set a guy. Yeah. I think Sukiyomi was bad here. I think that's my first mistake with the, with the match. Uh, so I do this. I could discard Night Assailant here. Which gets back Faith, and then discard Serpent, however I already have Faith, so I would rather keep my hand more... Well, Duo's gone, but Faith could get back Duo, potentially. Um, he does play card destruction, I don't know for sure if he sides it out. Upstart. And I drop pot, which is great. Uh, you definitely still want to use pot here, just because I already have so many monsters out of the deck. The chance of me drawing two more monsters is really unlikely. You would only think about that for like hand size issues, but I, yeah, I have a bunch of monsters already out of the deck, so we use the pot, which gives me mind control chaos sorcerer. Uh, so this spot now, it definitely is possible that he just set serpent again. It definitely could be night assailant. But it can also be Faith. It can also be Faith. And if it's Faith, I lose. If it's Night Assailant, at the very least, I would... allow the effect not to do anything, so I can set one of my flips. So he would have to answer those with something else. So yeah, I do believe I have to mind control. And especially for hand size issues as well. I have nine in hand. So that's just another reason to activate it. And it is Serpent, which I flip. And now I just set a flip. It's going to be Dekoichi or Faith. Note that he still doesn't have any knock or mind con in the grave. Uh, that's just going to lead me towards setting Dekoichi. Now, I do know a lot of his hand. Let's see, Knight of Sin, Thunder Dragon, Premature, TD, TD. Wait, one, two, three, four. He has two unknown cards, and I also don't know his back row. So Setikoichi looks good to me. He goes for knock on Yutikoichi. He puts Serpent in defense, so... Look, he's still not tributing the Serpent for Thunder Dragon. And I don't know why. I I looked at this replay with his cards up already before, and he's playing extremely passively. And if you notice, my hand was all flips before. Um, also, leaving the serpent face up just for me to banish it with Chaos Sorcerer seems not great. So yeah, I banish the serpent. And at this point, I just want to set the Faith, I believe. Yeah. 
because he can still definitely think that I just res I just set my serpent, so he may not want to mind control that. He may think I'm baiting, and he has a mind control target in the Chaos Sorcerer. So if you mind control serpent instead of Chaos Sorcerer, that's a pretty big punish. I just go for the faith. He goes for Snatch, Sukiyomi, and Knock. Which gets rid of all the fades. Uh, that's actually really good that I was able to get rid of his two fades from Duck. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. And I just take 34 here. And he passes. I draw heavy. I do believe I just have to play heavy and then Chaos Sorcerer. <laughs> because if I were to Chaos Sorcerer and he, you know, I don't know if he's siding out Book of the Moon or not. If I go Sorcerer and he goes Book, that's just basically game losing. And I don't really expect to get much more value off this Heavy Storm than just a one for one. I don't really expect that he'll just set another unchainable card. So it was the premature he set as a bluff. And I go Chaos Sorcerer, Banish, and set Night Assailant. I don't need to play around Snatch by going Souk. Instead, I play around BLS. Because note, if he has BLS, he if he banishes, then one of one of these can just answer BLS. If he attacks both, then Night Assailant answers BLS. So no matter what, I have BLS outed when I set Night Assailant. But if I were to set Serpent, that would not be the case. He summons Chaos Sorcerer, banishes. My Sorcerer, Summon Tsukiyomi, it hits into my Night Assailant, and that lets me destroy Chaos Sorcerer. So that looks like a pretty good trade for me. And now I draw Dust Shoot. This is why this card is just so good. I Like, I didn't have much going here, right? I just have, like, a Serpent Thunder Dragon play. But now this Dust Shoot just allows me to get rid of a good card from his hand and see everything that's going on even though I already know a lot of the cards I didn't know them all uh, unfortunately he drew pot for turn so this is not going to be very good uh, so yeah I don't care about the Tsukiyomi uh, yeah it's just going to be Night Assailant here the Tsukiyomi can't do anything. Yep. He goes taut. And he just ends turn. Okay. Um, I do feel he would have summon BLS. He knew my hand, I believe. Yeah, he knew my hand was Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, Tsukiyomi. So he's summoning BLS 100%. Uh, so my, I can only think that he just somehow bricked off of that. So this is my opportunity to just go aggressive. Tribute the Serpent, stack for 16. Something that he was just unwilling to do at all this game. I don't know why he was saving the Thunder Dragons, but sure. He goes Tribe. Destroy my Thunder Dragon. And sets a back row. And I draw Serpent. So. 
uh, many options here now. Let's just look at his cards. He has one Chaos Sorcerer, so he still has one Chaos Sorcerer and BLS in his deck. He has ten cards left in his deck. Uh, it's possible back rows. There could be Torrential, there could be Mirror Force. Uh, but let's also note that we saw a Heavy Storm in his hand. Um, if you're making this play with Tribe and you don't have a defensive card, you're setting Heavy Storm 100% as a bluff to try and deter a BLS OTK. So the back row is either a discard trap, maybe mirror force, or heavy storm. And since I know about heavy storm, it's actually way more likely that it's heavy storm than it is a real trap. Because remember, he didn't set anything the previous turn. After heavy, my heavy storm was gone, and he definitely would have set in that spot. So he either drew the trap this turn, or has heavy storm set. So it's way more likely it is heavy storm. Now. Just because that is true it doesn't mean you automatically just go for the OTK here. It's the other things, like him having only one Chaos in the grave. He still has 2 out of 10 in deck. That is Chaos Sorcerer BLS. He still has a... Uh, yeah, he still has a lot of good cards. There's still... Breaker, which is 1900 damage. Yeah, so basically, if I were to go BLS Banish and he draws Chaos, that's just. It's a dead game. If I go Sukiyomi Attack and then do nothing, I can be put into OTK spots pretty easily. So I do decide eventually that my best way of winning this game is to attempt the OTK right now. And it's going to work. Back row was Heavy Storm. And he would have drawn card destruction. He had a demock in his hand and a breaker. And look at that. If I if I actually wait one turn, he's gonna card destruction. And that's just gonna get him all the chaos. At least one of the chaos. So probably my only shot at winning was this OTK play here. Basically don't be scared to go for an OTK line even through a back row. Just gotta make good reads and evaluate the game state properly. Um, yep, so I'll be back with round five in the next video. Thanks for watching.